the video a lot of you have been waiting for is the update on the piglets. Um, we got to work today filling pools. It's been 80 yesterday. It's going to be 80 again today. Um, so we got to work filling pools and then I seen a job that needed to get done. Um, so everything takes a lot longer, but we moved all the fencing and, and mowed and got that fence off. I'm sorry, the grass off the fence. So the charges were hot. So we do put the uh, piglets on the electric fence right away. Um, they have gone under and through, um, but we've been keeping track of who's who to keep them separated. But that way, when we move them out into the field, we do not have to worry about them getting used to the electric fence. And the best part is they want to be around their mother. So when they go through the fence, they quickly will head back through. So got a couple mamas out, one halfway out, but we're going to go check these litters. I do have a cheat sheet because it is hard for me to remember what's boys, what's girls, and all those things. You guys remember that. So it looks like most of them are inside. Uh, so we're gonna head in the barn here and check out what we've got going on. So obviously heat lamps are off now. These pigs are old enough. They don't need the heat lamp at night. Um, couple milking. You don't want to see me. Let's let's just start in the first pen, and this is Millie. So we'll head in here and check out Millie's. These guys are all growing well. I tell people all the time these pigs are the most skittish at the young age. So we've been starting to spend a little more time out here trying to get them used to us. Look at that that one with that black butt right there. It's a whole wrinkly. So. I'm gonna grab my sheet to remind myself so I don't speak wrong because Brooklyn will correct me. You guys know that if I get something wrong, but Millie had seven total and she's got five boys and two girls and all of them have lived. I did tell you in a previous video that uh, we have lost a couple. I'm gonna tell you which ones those are and from what litters here, but Millie's piglets are doing great. Um, like I said, she's been out in the pool. Um, there's a big debate on pools over wallows and what's better and what's worse. We've always used the pools. The pigs will jump in. Sometimes the water jumps out and they'll make their own wallow. So it's worked for us. So you choose what's best for your farm. So seven total, all looking good and healthy. Millie's wiped out. We do have a nice breeze coming in here, so it is not too bad as far as temperature wise in here but there's Millie's seven piglets we'll let them get back to uh feeding and uh, we will move down the line here so we'll just go right around uh, next pen is Josie and check these videos out if you haven't seen them we caught all of them on camera except for Willow's litter and it looks like I'm coming in and the piglets are going out here. But here's Josie and Josie had 10 total piglets. Woo! That was a nice breeze. I'm gonna have to turn them. Dust in my eyes. All right. I bet you that actually feels pretty good, doesn't it, when it's this hot? So she had 10 total piglets um, and it was six boys and four girls. And she had that really tiny runt, if you guys remember that one. And that runt did not make it so that is one of the piglets that did not make it um i'll try to stick my head outside since well we've got five in here now so let's stick our heads outside oh here's one peeking wanting to get back in let's go outside for a minute Ugh. oh there they are all right so a lot of gingers and blacks i'm gonna head back in but uh, there is her, her four little piglets that we're missing. We'll, we'll go this way and not to scare them through a fence. You guys can go back in there and see mama. So nine, nine piglets living. And so that would make it five boys and four girls. Cause that little runt that didn't make it was a boy. So head back in. Wow, I didn't hit my head. That's impressive. There is Josie's piglets, and like I said, uh, I, didn't, I didn't forgot to write down the dates to tell you how old some of these are. Um, I think the oldest ones are probably around four and a half weeks, 
So these are probably around three, three weeks old here. Don't quote me on that, but there are people that have deposits. We do wait until they are about five weeks old to see which piglets are gonna be registrable. Hey, mama. Hey. So you can see these ones are kind of warming up to us a little bit, but uh, there are Josie's nine, looking good. Some of you guys see these brown stripes on here. Those are called Goody stripes. So that pig is technically labeled a brown white pig, but as it gets older, those stripes will fade and it will kind of look black, which is just a little disappointing, but still pretty cool at this time in their lives. So, all right, we're gonna get out of this pen, head over to Willow's. There's Josie's. You guys can't come out. All right, over here on the end was Willow's and this is the litter. We did not catch on film. I made a talking mistake in one of the videos. I said they came out dry. Well, when by the time we came out, the pigs were dry. Now, the piglets didn't come out dry, but here's Willow's. Um, before I tell you, boys and girls and how many, this is another litter that we lost a piglet. It was not doing very well. And so we opted to put that piglet down. And so I just wanna speak for a minute. Brooklyn was out here. And when we first started this, obviously the kids are all upset when that happens and we're upset. It's hard to put an animal down, but Brooklyn knew that it was best for the pig. She didn't cry, obviously upset, but it's just, I'd say all that just to say how cool it is that we have these kids growing up on this farm. They understand life and death and not to let an animal suffer, to just kind of put it down. And so I was super proud of her. Um, so I just wanted to mention that, but anyway, so Willow, we did put one of hers down. It just was not, was not doing good and it was struggling. So we didn't want it to suffer anymore. So let me look back at my cheat sheet. So we've got four boys and four girls in here, which the one we put down was a girl. So it's four boys and three girls, um, all doing well. Don't look like they really need to eat that much. <laughs> But they do start on, uh, they do start stealing some of mama's food and we sprinkle some out in the ground. So when mamas are eating these piglets can start eating some of the pellet and they'll do that around two weeks old. Um, so pretty much all of our litters now we're putting out extra feed for the babies. So mama's, I'm sorry, mama, I didn't want to disturb you. I just want to see your piggies. Um, so all the babies are eating solid feed as well. So we have up to the feed. We get this question a lot. How much do you give mamas? Well, you don't want to up their feed until their piglets are born. Um, we were doing two cups twice a day, and now it depends on the pig. I, I don't think there's any set answer to that. Um, we're doing six cups for a lot of these. If a mama's starting to look skinny, we'll up it. So just keep an eye on your pigs. Uh, look at their body. Does it get, are they getting skinny? Are they still really fat? So just look at your pigs and decide if you think they might need a little more or a little less. I wouldn't go by how much they squeal because they always squeal like they're hungry no matter what. But uh, so that's what we do with ours. So most of our mamas are getting six. I think six cups twice a day. I think Josie, we've done a little more because she's nursing nine piglets. So we just want to make sure she's doing well. And Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean was looking a little thin. We'll go over to her pen right now. So we upped her feed a little more. I think she's about six cups as well. So here's Jelly Bean's litter. This was uh, the first litter born on the farm. And we've got all these videos, guys. Go back and check those out. Uh, here they are. So these guys, every single one of these has just grown like crazy. I mean, I doubt there's one that is a runt in this litter. Here's mama. <laughs> well, half in, half out. But uh, so these are the oldest. And like I said, I think they're about four and a half maybe maybe five weeks i don't remember those dates i should have wrote that down but jelly bean had eight piglets three boys and five girls so they are all doing great just some cool colors and like you can see we need to spend a little bit more time out here with these guys we do like to just give them time to get used to their surroundings and we'll start coming out here with the kids spending more time in here and they will warm up to us so like I said, this is the time we tell everybody these are these days are the most skittish of your pig. You come and get a pig um, and you're thinking, wow, that pig's crazy. 
as they get older and older, the friendlier and friendlier they get. Not that they're mean, it's just they're a little bit skittish of these big humans in their pen. So there is Jelly Beans, her eight piglets all doing well. We didn't lose any more. So we've only lost those two piglets. Um, so we've done done really well. Mamas have done really well. We haven't done anything, um, but they're, they're doing great. So there's Jelly Beans. And it looks like, oh, pennies are inside, so we'll stay inside for that. They have all gone outside. Um, they just jump over those bars. I've left the bars in there to kind of help with the flaps blowing everywhere. Don't work great, but that's my theory. So all the piglets do go in and out though. So last litter, and this was the actual last litter born this spring, and these are pennies. And so I don't think, these are not even two weeks yet, so little old gingers she had a bunch of ginger piglets how are you doing so there they are they do venture outside as well so penny had six total and she's got two boys and four girls so that is the last litter this spring so all looking cool guys we say it all the time our one of our favorite things is when you have coonies you do not get the same colors, patterns, spots. Every piglet is different. So that's one of our favorite things about having these Cooney litters. They just do awesome and they look awesome and no two pigs are the same. So they're all unique when they come out. We don't have just a litter of huge pink pigs. So not that there's anything wrong with a pink pig. We just like the different colors and patterns. So. You guys have seen all these, all these five litters. Go back, scroll back if you need to. Put down in the comments, what is your favorite litter? Um, it's hard to pick, I understand, but put a comment down in there, uh, which litter was your favorite? So that is all our piglets, that is all our mamas. I hope that was a good update. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of questions. How are the piglets? Are they getting big? What's this, what's that? So we definitely wanted to come out and get a video update of all the piglets. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, make the change.